806-809 is the magic number for the Messi vs. Ronaldo rivalry. Cristiano was born on February 5, 1985, and Lionel was born on June 24, 1987. There are exactly 869 days between these dates. The difference in days between the two world football legends' eldest sons is the same. Cristiano Jr. was born on June 17, 2010, and Thiago Messi was born on November 2, 2012. And again, exactly the same 869 days. Some mysticism, isn't it? Football fans from all over the world were hyped. It's a sign. This incredible rivalry is going to continue. But it looks like this battle has already ended before it even started, and in today's video we'll explain why. Let's go! Friends, before we start, we ask you to support our new project Wonder Kids by subscribing and watching videos. This is a channel about the most talented and exciting children on Earth. There are videos about Cristiano Jr. and Tiago Messi already. Go, watch, and subscribe! So let's take things in order. Cristiano Ronaldo Jr. and Tiago Messi have lived in a completely football world from the first days of their lives. Their parents are number one game stars who deep down hope that their boys will become the world football best. Fans from all over the world are literally praying for the kids to succeed and be no less outstanding football players than their dads. It seems that in these circumstances you are just doomed to football. But the boys chose the game of millions not because of parental or football community pressure. Not at all. They made their choice very easily in their own time, just like all of us. They just started kicking the ball since the first years of their lives and they loved it. In their interviews, both Cristiano and Lionel said that they like their kids' hobbies and will support their efforts. Cristianino is two years older than Thiago, so he caught the world's media's eye a little earlier, and it was he who made his first big football steps. Ronaldo wisely sent his son to a small club in Madrid, Pozuelo, so that Junior would remain out of the local and global media spotlight for a while. You would agree that it would have been more reasonable to place your son in the academy of your club, Real Madrid. But the wise Chris decided otherwise. And it worked out well for Ronaldo Jr. He scored 55 goals in his first two seasons, gained confidence, and started to develop even more fiercely and with a lot of passion. This was the first club in Cristiano's childhood career, and it was a great experience for the child. He fell in love with the game and began to unleash his potential without any fuss around his name. What were Thiago Messi's first steps in football? completely opposite. Lionel Messi sent his son to the Barcelona Academy when Thiago had not yet turned four in September 2016. This step caused a big media storm and all fans started to follow every step of the new Messi. In addition, in the Barca Academy, La Masia, everyone was curious about how the son of the best footballer in the club's history will be doing. Of course, Thiago could not be ready for this kind of attention at such a young age, so he did not show any outstanding achievements during his first two years in Barcelona. It's worth noting that Cristiano Ronaldo's approach proved to be more efficient, and that is why his son took the lead in the correspondence competition even at that time. But let's move on! Friends, if you have watched the video so far, it means that you are definitely interested in it. So we ask each of you to reward it with a like. Thank you! The boys got their first glory not straight away. In the early years of their careers, the world media was very cautious about the young star's privacy. But later, there were many more publications about the football progress of Messi and Ronaldo's eldest sons. The catalyst for this shift was the first significant success of Ronaldo Jr. and Messi Jr. Cristiano even had his first transfer. He moved to Turin following his father and became a Juventus Academy player. This is where he started playing like a real football god. There were even memes when Ronaldo Sr. failed to score his debut goal in the first matches, while his son had already scored four goals in his first two matches. 
Then the Sun scored seven goals in one game, and at the time of Cristiano's debut goal for the Old Lady, the score was 11-1 in favor of Little Chris. At Juventus, Junior's progress has reached an impressive speed. He was talked about as a future monster of football and a future Ballon d'Or winner. All that because he scored 58 goals and made 18 assists in 28 games playing in the U9 category. At the same time, Lionel Messi's son kept gaining momentum and eventually reached a certain level that the world media started talking about him. Just as Cristiano Ronaldo's son was blowing up the football world with his incredible stats, Thiago joined the race. He scored his first three goals with FC Biascola, a team made up exclusively of Barca's first-team players and all the club's employees' children. The results of this team were not always great. For example, once the team of Thiago Messi, Milan Piquet and Benjamin Suarez lost with a score of 1-9. At that time, the whole world appreciated Messi's junior's potential, but there were no such great results as Ronaldo's son had. That's why Cristianini also wanted the second career stage. But we should take into account the factor of a two-year advantage, and therefore, faster growth. Therefore, Thiago still had a chance to catch up with his rival in a few years. And now we are moving on to the decisive stage of the battle. The summer of 2021 was a time of big changes in the Ronaldo and Messi families' lives. As the heads of the families changed clubs, Lionel, after 21 years in Barcelona, was forced to move to PSG, bringing Thiago to Paris, who also had to change La Masia to the Paris Saint-Germain Academy. That summer, Cristiano decided to leave Juventus and return to Manchester United, giving his son the opportunity to try his hand at English children's club football. Messi's son quickly dropped out of the media space due to the lack of any video evidence of his play and cool skill in the PSG shirt. At the same time, Ronaldo's son continued to make headlines, scoring goals for the Red Devils. Unfortunately, there are no complete statistics of his achievements, but in his first year at Manchester United, Cristiano scored a lot of goals and was remembered for his spectacular skills. YouTube won't let us lie and those who have been with us for a long time are well aware of Junior's impressive performances for Manchester. There is a slight possibility that Thiago Messi was able to improve his game while training at the PSG Academy, but it's also very likely that Leo's eldest son simply failed to adapt properly. The media reported that the move to Paris was a lot of stress for the children who loved their life in Barcelona and that they had language problems, which even forced them to switch to homeschooling. Thiago, who had many friends in Spain, suffered the most. It's likely that this is why he was unable to play in the Paris Saint-Germain academy and perhaps even left football school, unable to understand his peers. Knowing Leo and Antonella's personalities, we can assume that they did not force their son, promising that they would all return to Barcelona very soon, which is where things are headed now. These are just our guesses, but you must admit that there is something to this theory. We don't think we should say who wins at this stage of their careers. Now Ronaldo Jr. and his father are exploring a new country and a new culture of football in Saudi Arabia. His father plays for Al Nasser, while his son plays for Mahd Academy. This is, at the very least, the fourth club in Cristiano's career. Let's count. Pasuelo, Juventus, Manchester United and Macht Academy. Before moving to Riyadh, the youngster trained at Real Madrid Academy for several weeks. Cristiano Jr. continues to improve and sets the bar high, to surpass his father in football. Thiago Messi is much more down-to-earth and humble, family kicking the ball and a dream of returning to Barcelona. Friends. It seems that we know which of these two will become a professional football player and which one will not. Cristiano Ronaldo Jr. has already won this battle with Thiago Messi and we have already explained in detail why. What do you think? Write your thoughts about what you heard in this video. Friends, don't forget to visit the Wonder Kids channel and support us with your reviews and subscriptions. It was Inside Football. We watch football from a different angle. Have a nice one and see you in a bit.